You can continue to shop the whole selection on hsn.com. And speaking of hsn.com, we've got all kinds of great new stuff going on over there. Brand new finds, fresh product. We've got fashion, we've got beauty, we've got jewelry. We've got all kinds of stuff and it's all brand new. So if you are looking for something fresh for 2024, I guarantee you'll be able to find it over there at hsn.com. All right, we're gonna step right into our next hour and we are gonna talk about EcoFlow. So what is EcoFlow? Well, first of all, I'll tell you, I got my EcoFlow Justin, I think I've had my EcoFlow for like two or three years now, probably three years, okay? And I bought one of the originals, 1,000 watts, a two-year warranty. Uh, you can charge, uh, I think, up to 12 or 13 devices. It, it, it is an amazing thing. It's one of my absolute top five purchases I have ever made in my 20 years at HSN. I love it. I have used it over and over and over again. We're in Florida. So you know we're uh, one of the hurricane capitals of the, of the country, if not the world, right? So we always need to be prepared. My father taught me many, many years ago, be prepared. What, what, what happens just in case? What if the power goes out? What if you have a flood? What if this? What, what if there's no food? So we would always have extra water. We would always have food in the freezer, right, that we could keep there, right? But the one thing that we didn't have is we didn't have any kind of a generator. You see, generators are incredibly expensive. They're incredibly difficult to operate. Combustion engines, they have to stay outside. You can't have them in a condo or an apartment. So if your power goes out there, what do you do? You're, you know what it, right? You're, you're up the creek without, you know, without a paddle. So that's one of the reasons this was created. This is a, and it's, it's incredible. This is a completely gasless, fumeless, noiseless generator for the inside of your home. What will it power out? It'll power up virtually anything you have in your home. You can power up appliances. You can power up a refrigerator, a microwave oven. You can do um, a coffee machine, a toaster, computers, fans, TVs, phones, a CPAP machine. Look at all the different things that you can back up and power even when there's no power coming into your home. Why do we lose power? All the different storms out there. Sometimes it's just surges, right? It could be in the middle of summer. Perfectly beautiful night and your power goes out for two hours, okay? This is the best value we've ever done. This is the most powerful, up to 3,400 watts of power. Even full-size refrigerators, it does it all. You know who buys this? People that are smart and thinking, I want, I want to still be able to have a cup of coffee. I want to have toast. I want a bagel. While everybody in my neighborhood, I want lights, for heaven's sake. While every in my, everybody in my neighborhood is sitting in the dark, I want that. We're gonna get into all the features of this. We have a full hour. I am so excited about this product because it's a brand new, it's the Delta II. We have been waiting for the Delta II for a long, long time with all the upgrades. <clears throat> Do you know this product has a five year warranty? My, Del my machine, and I have a Delta, but I have one of the originals, two year warranty, all right? I have used mine probably dozens of times. You know what I used, just used it for recently? It's in the trunk back of my golf cart it powers up all the holiday lights on my, on my golf cart. And do you know, I never recharged it. I used it all throughout, all throughout November and December, driving around the neighborhood with lights on. I never recharged it. It just sips power. Those lights, those LED lights are great. You can use this for a variety of things. It has several different um, ports in it. And I'm gonna let Justin get into all that because he does a great job at doing that. And I have two options for you. And then I'm gonna hand it over to my good friend, uh, Justin Hyatt. So, the real deal is to get it with the solar panel. We offer the solar panel. I think the solar panel is what, about 500 bucks? Is it 450? $450 just for the solar panel. And this is 160 watt. The original was 120. We're gonna get you the solar panel and the power strip that goes along with it for a price with it of 1549. You're getting the solar panel and the strip. You're getting the solar panel for half price from what it normally is. If you want it without the solar, it's $13.99.99. I am going to get into all the flex pays, but at the bottom of your screen right there, if you use your HSN credit card, you'll pay five flex without solar of $280. You'll get five flex with the solar panel of $310. Shipping and handling is free. 18 month VIP financing with an HSN credit card. You want, let's do that right now, Rob, can we? If you get it with, with, Without the solar panel, with 18 month, 
7777. If you get it for 18 months, 8611. $86.11 per month. And you sleep better at night. You know if there's an emergency, you're prepared. You will always have lights. You will always have food. You will have electric. What you won't have is a noisy, ridiculously loud, very difficult to start, gas-consuming generator that has to be outside of your house, which means you have to run a cord through a window. You don't have to do that with this. Several years ago, I was at a friend's house that had a generator. I had the room, the bedroom. I was happy to be somewhere off the beach. I had a room that was right next to the generator. I didn't sleep the whole night. Those things are so loud, it's crazy. This is whisper quiet. Recharges 80% in a little over an hour. 15 different devices. Let me get my special guest who's been patiently waiting over there. Justin Hyatt, who is... Justin always brings us absolutely the coolest electronics, whether it's a way to inflate your tires, uh, whether it's a way to keep your power going on in your house. He does it all. Great products. And he is our official uh, EcoFlow spokesperson. Buddy, Delta 2, finally here, my man. Finally. I mean, first presentation of EcoFlow for the whole entire year. Um, and it's the first time you've ever seen the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. So we, we launched the, the Delta Max uh, la uh, two years ago. This has unbelievable upgrades, but ultimately what Guy was saying is it's not just having the peace of mind of something in your home. This is going to run 99% of the things that are in your home. Wow. So look around. You know, Guy was talking about, you know, it having, being able to cook food. This will give you not just warmth with a space heater or a heating blanket, but be able to allow you to cook your food, be able to, allow to keep your food cool with your full-size refrigerator. We're not just talking about a little mini refrigerator, and it's super easy. He was just talking about how loud gas generators can be. This is only 30 decibels. When we speak, it's about 60 decibels. So it is whisper quiet, and you are going to be able to use this every single day in your home. And yes, we talk about upgrades. Yeah, it's a battery. But when they talk about batteries, there are different levels and different qualities of batteries. What we've done with the Delta 2 Max is we've allowed you to have not just a just lithium battery, but lithium phosphate battery, meaning you have a five-year warranty behind this, and it's six times more life cycle. So on the regular batteries, you got about 500. This is going to give you six thousand life cycles before uh, the battery starts to go from zero to 100 from zero to 99 and speaking of just charging fastest recharge rate in the industry with EcoFlow and ultimately it's super easy to use when you have this at home not just peace of mind to have it but peace of mind to know you know how to use it one touch of a button that's it turns the, the power station on and now you just start plugging things in and remember, when we talk about plugging things in, you can now be able to plug in multiple different devices. This is a this is fast charge USB-A. This is just your regular USB-A. We also have our USB-C 100 watts right here. And on the very back, we've got six individual three-prong AC outlets. Guy, you were talking about gas generators. When you look at gas generators, they've got maybe two yeah. AC outlets. This has six individual AC outlets. And right here, this is not just a power station. When you pick this up, 90 plus percent of you get it with the solar panel because this is about not just having a power station, but allowing have yourself to have independent power. So you can have not just 800 watts of power, but 1,000 watts of input from your solar panels. So what that means is, when you have this at home and you're out of power and you need to recharge this and you still don't have power and it's a day and it's two days, how are you going to do it? Well, with that solar panel, now you connect it to your power station. It's a solar generator. So you can now charge this with 1,000 watts of total input just by solar and a bit of, like about three hours. That's unbelievable speed. And from AC from zero to 80% in an hour. So really, really great upgrades. But really, when we talk about this, being able to plug all these different individual things in, like a light, like a fan, that's what allows you to have that peace of mind at home so you'll be able to plug these in. And we're going to change this one out this one's only on 2%, but you can plug in full-size refrigerators, microwaves, high wattage appliances so you can cook your food with your power station. It, you're not limited. You know, my, my father used to say, you know, why just survive when you can thrive? And that's a big deal. You will thrive with this. When everybody else in your neighborhood is sitting there in the dark and there's no light in their house, you can have lights and fans. You could be cooking. You could have uh, all the hot plates, all these things you can plug into it, and you can get through those really, really difficult times that you need to get through. And that's, that's what it's all about. It's about preparing. And, you know, 
it's too late once the power goes out and you got nothing and you, and you are looking for a place to go because your house is cold. You can't plug in a heater. Your house is hot. You can't plug in an AC. Your refrigerator, it, it, it's starting to a leak at the bottom because there's no power to it. And this is going to give you hours and hours and hours of power. It's going to get you through the tough times. And I, I always talk about not so much how great this is, because it is great. And I bought one. The media, I paid $1,000 for mine, and I got one that's a fraction of the power of this one. And I love mine. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. I sleep better at night knowing, just in case, I will still have power. I can't sleep without noise in my room, right? So I always have a fan going on or an air purifier. I can plug my air purifier into this so I can have that background noise. You, you are so much better equipped when you have this. So let's talk about the other side of the coin, which is the gas generator. Now, my neighbor, uh, Judy, who I love, she's got a big, big, giant house next to mine. And she actually has a, a generator as part of her house. It kicks on and tests once in a while. It's in, it's in my backyard off my deck. It is so loud. She doesn't hear it, but I hear it when it, when it goes through the test pattern. And I hear it kick on from time to time, right? So it goes through that thing. But now she's got a gas one. If you get a, now if you go and you buy a gas generator, you can spend two, three, four thousand, five thousand dollars on a gas generator. Now you gotta know how to run the gas generator. It's a combustion engine, okay? So you've got everything that's involved, spark plugs, all those different things, gas, uh, starting it, making sure it starts, all those different things that you have to do. And if it's cold out, or if it's wet out, raining, because it's a storm, it's a hurricane, a tornado, a blizzard. Do you want to be outside maintaining that? Of course you don't. You want to be inside in the comfort and security and warmth of your own home. If you live in a condo or an apartment, you can't have a gas generator, right? Combustion engine, can't do it. Just like you can't have a barbecue grill in a condo, right? I mean, you can have electric, but you can't have that. This goes in your home. It will power out lights, medical machinery, refrigerators, microwave, washer, toaster oven, uh, 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 air fryer. God knows we need those. What about your TVs or your computers? What about having a cup of coffee in the morning? Even if you've got an electric vehicle, a toaster, I mean, it goes on and on and on and on. All your cameras, your laptops, your phones, obviously. And it's because you have all those multiple ports. Justin just told you a moment ago, you usually get two ports on a generator because you're running plugs in through a window or you're running them through a door somewhere to get them inside. This powers all up to 99% of the things that need power in and around your home. This is going to power up and it's manageable. Look at this. Look at the size of it in front of Justin right there. All right. Weighs about 50 pounds versus a regular gas generator that probably weighs way over a hundred, right? And you're not moving that thing around. You can take this with you. What if you like to go camping? You're a boater and you want to plug your music systems into it. You want to plug in, you know, a, a coffee maker while you're camping. You can do that as well because it's not always, a, you know, you don't want to get in the morning and make a fire. You want to use this. You can do all of that. Two choices with solar and without. Our solar panels are, five, are $450, all right? You're getting the solar panel half price if you get it with the generator today. We also have an extra battery ba uh, available, which we'll put up the item number for that in just a moment, so you can pick that up. But think about the different things that you have in your house right now that you would be without if you had a storm. Number one would be lights. Number two would be comfort, so heat, cooling, yep. those things. Food. Now, it's not going to make water for you, so I suggest you put some water, but, but it'll heat the water for you. Well, and if you like <laughs> filtered water, you typically get it from your refrigerator. And right. how are you going to power up your refrigerator? You think about those essentials, food and water. I know we're showing the solar panels. The more solar input that you have, the more and quicker, excuse me, the quicker you can recharge your power station. But the more part of it is when you have your solar panels connected to your power station, now it's a solar generator. So when I was talking about a thousand total watts of input from solar, that means I can literally convert the sun to energy and pass through my power station to all of the different, different things that I have plugged in. So I can run my light and my fan all day long from the sun. I could be running my, my microwave, my refrigerator from the sun without depleting the power of my power station. We were just showing you the extra battery. You know, on the side here, this is a 2,000 watt power station. 
we can double and triple that time. So let me explain. I'm gonna start plugging some stuff in because I want you to see this. We talk about being able to just have something that's easy to use. This is gonna give you every bit of information that you need right here on this display. So I have the fan going right now. That's 55 hours with the fan, right? Okay, 40, 40 hours roughly. Here's the thing with this. Now I can double that time, I can triple that time with all of those different extra battery ports that I've got right here. So whatever you decide to plug in, this is now not only gonna run at 3,400 watts, and in, fa in fact here it has a peak wattage of nearly 5,000 watts. You start to really, we, we keep obviously talking about power stations compared to gas and or propane generators. Gas and propane generators are that exact same wattage, but yet this doesn't need gas, this doesn't need oil, and yes, it is whisper quiet, and it doesn't have any toxic fumes, which is why we always talk to all of you who live in those apartments and condos and say, what's gonna happen when I lose power? What's gonna happen when I need to plug my refrigerator in? Well, we've got prepared for a storm that's coming, and all of a sudden we lose power, now we're at the mercy of all of these different you know, power grids and waiting for the power to come back on. This is your own power grid. This allows you to have peace of mind, to have a light, to have a fan, but to go beyond that. You know, we've got a full-size refrigerator right here. What's the first thing that we all do? We think when we got a storm coming, especially here in Florida, is let's stock up on food, let's stock up on water, possibly even ice. Obviously, it's not powered up. I've got the plug right here. So if you have a power outage, what are you going to do? It's about the ifs and the whens, and I know Guy keeps talking about it. It's Murphy's Law. It's always gonna happen at the worst time, so you need to get prepared. We say, what's the best time to get prepared? It's now. And when we talk about the, the what ifs and the whens, it's not a matter of, of, of what if or when it's gonna happen. What about when's the power gonna come back on? And how much money did you just spend on all of that food to get prepared for that moment in time where you do lose power? Now, it might not be your primary refrigerator. It could be that deep freezer. It could be that secondary refrigerator that's in the garage. You need to start thinking about that, and it goes even beyond that. How many times, you know, guy, I read all these different ways that people have now used their EcoFlow, like a uh, 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 tankless water heater. You know, those just need to be plugged in. They just need power to get that pilot on. So now you can have hot water for your whole entire home. But it's not just hot water for your whole home. You can actually have this integrated into your whole entire house with a panel that we have available too, where you can literally have it connected to a, your power grid, or your, excuse me, your circuit breaker at home, and have it connected to five different circuit breakers in your whole entire house. Okay. Talk about getting warm and staying warm. What about cooking food? We've got a refrigerator plugged in. We've got a light plugged in with fan. I'm going to go ahead and turn this microwave on. I want you to see it's about keeping ourselves sustaining in a time where we feel like, you know, where there's no power here, there's no gas here. How are we going to eat hot food? We're keeping our food cool. We're keeping our medicine cool. Now we can actually cook our food with a hot plate, an induction burner. I know we've got tons of those here at HSN, a full-size microwave, an air fryer, and all these different things that we're doing yeah we're doing it inside but you can do it outside take it camping take it RVing go and turn camping into glamping when you have EcoFlow because it's also portable power that you can take with you that gives you and delivers amazing amount of power it's a lot less suffering I would tell you that you know there are like I said before there are people that get through emergencies storms power failures and there are people that just barely get through right maybe you've got uh, in-laws or parents or grandparents and you're worried about them this is, this is so important. In fact, I would say there's probably not a host here who doesn't own one of these. I, I, I've talked to every one of our, uh, I think I've talked to every one of our hosts. Everybody, every one of us has one of these. First of all, we all live in Florida. <laughs> so that goes without saying that's the importance of having a backup system when you live in Florida. But don't forget, I lived in the Northeast. I lived in New England. Anybody know what's going on in New England right now? Anybody been watching the Weather Channel? Yeah six to 12 inches of snow. I will guarantee there will be thousands of people without power, my home state of Connecticut, obviously in Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. These are all people, even parts of New York, upstate New York. They're gonna get a foot of snow, at least six inches to a foot of snow. And then there's another storm coming right after that. You sleep better at night knowing that you have this, right? I've got one right here. So knowing that you've got this, you sleep better and you're like, you know what? And I would do this, if you know you have a storm coming, please take it out and make sure it's fully charged. I charge mine, I mean, I think the last time I charged mine was maybe seven months ago. I haven't even charged it since I've been using it on the golf cart. I mean, that, it, it literally sips power, all the devices that, that I've used it on. And again, you're getting the same type of power that you would get in a gas or propane generator, but you don't have any of the mess. 
any of the work. And people are like, yeah, but my gas generator, uh, that lasts longer. Yeah, why? Because you got to get gas. It doesn't last longer. You still have to go and fill it with gas. This recharges up to 80% full charge in an, at like an hour and a minute, right? It's like an hour and 10 minutes, something like that. Just about an hour. So it's this, it, on that level, it's the same. You recharge it, but there's no mess. You're not pouring a gas can in. And if you're, if you're 70 years old or 75 or 80, do you want to have this or do you want to be outside starting a pull start? Or I know that a lot of them are key start, push button start, but what if it doesn't start? Because here's the other issue. Finicky. A gas combustion engine or a propane engine can be very finicky, right? Just like your lawnmower. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. It's a combustion engine. It needs gas, needs oil, needs maintenance, needs to be cleaned, all those different things. This is pure, clean electric energy that most of your stuff runs on. So you don't even have to deal with all that stuff. Yet you get to sit down at night and you get to say, wow, there's a storm coming, but I got it. I got water over here. I got the EcoFlow is out. I've, I've, I've assembled my electronic devices that I'm going to need, my coffee maker, my, my, uh, my little portable burner. I've got everything there so we can eat, we can drink, we can stay warm, we can survive. Better than yet, better than that, we thrive. While everybody else is looking for to, to, to dodge and hide in a cave or a tunnel or go to a neighbor's house, you are doing okay. And to me, Justin, that is a feeling you can't replicate. You feel so much better. You feel responsible, like you've done the right thing. That's what we, I think we always say, you know, when do you decide to get prepared? You know, what's your plan A? What would you do right now if you lost power? What would happen, uh, you know, to the food and to the water? And we talk about essential things. We need to protect those essential things. We, we, we like having food and water because that's what sustains life in us. But we also need power to sustain those types of things like our food and like our water. You know, you were just talking about a guy, you know, we talk about combustion engines. The thing about those is when we get and when we invest in a gas generator, we invest in a propane generator, we invest in it because we want to have that peace of mind at home. But how many times do you think about, well, when are we going to use it for fun times? When are we investing in that where outside of it just sitting in a garage somewhere waiting for that moment in time where we do lose power for us to use it? When EcoFlow, you're going to use it year round. And we don't have to worry about the maintenance. We don't have to worry about, did we leave gas in there? Do we have gas? Did we store gas? How many times does that gas generator sit for a year, two years before you use it, and then you can't get it to start? Yeah, it might be a push button, might be a key start, but if you have it run it in a while, same thing with a car. We always say if your car sits too long, it might not start. The same thing with a combustion engine. A five-year warranty behind this. Pure sine wave technology, no moving parts. Some of the newest technology put into this, the first time that we've ever had the Delta II Max. Brand new upgraded battery system allowing you to have a 10-year lifespan. What do I mean by that? If you recharge this once a day, you could do it for 10 years. And let, just like your phone on your battery, right? Uh, the battery on your phone, excuse me. When you ever look at it, it says, well, it only charges from, you know, up to 99%. That won't happen with this if you, until 10 years from now. And that's only if you did it 6,000 times. So when you invest <laughs> in something like this, like the new LFP battery system, the LiPo battery system in your Delta II, this isn't old technology. It's the newest technology, and it's from EcoFlow. You know, when we start to look for types of products like this and you start to you know, shop around, yeah, there's multiple brands. You know who the number one brand in this whole category of power stations and solar generators is? EcoFlow. We launched them here at HSN. It's the first time that this has ever been on I'm just going to keep going because I want you to see. We talk about all of these essential things. What about staying cool? What about staying warm with a heating blanket? What about having medical devices in your home like a CPAP machine? I've got it right here. I'm just going to go ahead and turn on the uh, little AC button right here in the back, and it's going to turn on my CPAP machine. It's going to turn on my portable AC unit right here set to 72 degrees. It's something when you invest in, it's not just 10 years. It's all season, right? It's summertime. It's wintertime. It's springtime. It's not just is having it inside, it's taking it outside. If you're a camper or a glamper or you want to go RVing and this is the difference between doing that and not, what a great way to take advantage of it and get one of the latest and greatest from EcoFlow. And yeah, all the kind of what if power situations like a frying pan. Remember, look at the wattage on this electric vehicle, 1800 watts, electric grill, 1650. That's half of our, that's half of the power. This can power 99% of your home appliances. So yeah, if it's a toaster, if it's an air fryer, if it's your phone, which it'll do 100, 100 plus times, 
We want the line of communication. We want to be able to cook our food. We want to feel like we have all those creature comforts at home that we would when the power's on. So even when the power turns off, you still have power. So 72 degrees, we can see right here with the CPAP machine and that AC unit, 12 hours that we can run that uh, AC unit. So really amazing, amazing amount of power, but for the high wattage and big things. So if you have a window AC unit, how many people, look, I was living in that house, 100 year old home, window AC units and, and 10 windows, yeah. uh, and it gets hot. And it went to 100 degrees outside, it's like 120 inside. And same thing when it's cold, you're talking about the winter storms. When it's 20 degrees outside and you lose power, it feels like it's zero degrees inside. You need to keep yourself warm, you need to be able to keep yourself cool, and you need to sustain yourself. That's what EcoFlow allows you to do. Well, and remember, a lot of the times when you're gonna use this, there's an emergency going on. You can't, you might not even be able to get out to your garage to get your generator going because there could be two feet of snow on the ground, right? Um, Chris, my uh, director just said, he goes, what if, okay, you got a gas generator, you need gas. What if the gas station's out of power, right? What if you can't get to the gas station because there's a foot of snow on the ground to refuel your gas generator? You don't have to deal with that, right? You can take this to anywhere it has power and you can recharge it up to 80% in one hour and then just bring it back to your house. So honestly, it, it answers all the different questions and it's for everybody. All right, listen, if you wanna get a gas generator, I'm not gonna talk you out. I'd rather you had a gas generator than no generator. Problem is they're expensive, they're hard to maintain, they're noisy, they have fumes, they're pollution, they're, they're pollution and polluting the environment and they're not allowed everywhere. You can't have them in condos, can't have them in apartments because it's a combustion engine, it's dangerous, right? You got other people and live in there. You can't have one guy with one, then everybody has to have one. And then there's, where do you store it? Have you seen the size of, of gas and propane generators? You know, people that have, that have money and build new houses, a lot of people can build one into their house. That's great, but not all of us can do that. A lot of people are retired and are living in an apartment or a condo and they still wanna have peace of mind. The, the fact that you can get a portable AC unit to work for 12 hours, that would save my life here in Florida. When it's, when it's summertime and there's a hurricane and right after a hurricane, it's hot, it's muggy, the air is, is just drenched, and you're dying, all you want is AC. When I, it's funny, when our last hurricane, uh, the first thing I checked when I got home was to make sure my air conditioning was working, because I won't even go in my house if the AC's not working. I'll stay at a hotel or, or, or somebody that has generators. So let me tell you how you can get this home. Real quick, Rob, I just wanna give everybody the breakdown. If you want it without solar, $13.99 is our price, which by the way is $500 off our regular price. If you get the one with the solar panel and the power strip, $700 off our price, free shipping. Um, I wanna make sure I got the number, $77.77 on an HSN credit card for 12, uh, for, was that for 18 months? Yeah. If you want the one with the solar panel, and remember the solar panel is half price with our deal, that is 80, hold on, $86.11. Less than $100 a month for 18 months, and you can sleep better at night and have peace of mind. All right, we are halfway through the presentation. I'm gonna give you a chance to digest all that information, make your decisions. We've got another 30 minutes to talk about it, but order yours, one of the best things I've ever done. Every host has one, you should have one too. We'll be right back. More EcoFlow right after this. Get deals on tap with the HSN app. Opt in to push notifications for shipping updates, app-only deals, and special offers. Stream HSN anywhere 24 hours a day. Download now and take $10 off your first app purchase. Happy shopping. It's HSN's first big sale of the year with super big savings and hot deals on your favorite products and brands from beauty to fashion and jewelry, kitchen essentials to fab fitness, plus five flex pay on everything. Start Friday only on HSN and HSN.com. Hi, everybody. It's Denise Austin, and I've been helping millions of people stay in great shape for over 40 years. Helping women aspire to be healthy, active, and vital has always been a passion of mine. I am so excited to be part of the HSN family. You know why? I get to inspire you. We are going to get fit together. Join fitness expert Denise Austin to live ever better. Because you are worth it. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. 
Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900. value of the day today is Andrew Lessman. If you'd like to shop more of his assortment, you can go to hsn.com. We've got all kinds of great vitamins, great supplements. I just took the uh, the PC liver and brain. I just bought that one. Stuff is amazing. Uh, and it's all made in the best possible way. Uh, you know, very conscientious of the environment. Um, I love the fact that uh, most of it you know, is in powder form because it's easier, more easy to absorb. So he just, he just does it the best. And he's going to be coming up again, I think at 10 a.m. right after me, right? Fantastic. Andrew will be back in the, and he's in studio today. So, all right. So speaking of the best at what they do, uh, let's talk back uh, again about EcoFlow. My EcoFlow, I love. I got one of the original ones. I think I paid, I don't know, 11 or 1200 for mine. Uh, and it was the one that was a thousand watt. It was the one of the first ones we had here. Wonderful machine. It powered about 90% of the things in my home. The one that we're offering today covers 99%. So things that maybe weren't covered before, full-size refrigerators, a lot of different things that are in your house are now covered. Because a lot of people were like, well, I want to be able to power up most of my home, and that's why I went with a gas generator. I was thinking about that, or a propane generator, both gas. Um, but now that I have this, now that I know this does 99%, just like the other, why would I get one that's 10 times the size or five times the size, um, much heavier, all right, one that, that has to stay outside, that I have to run a cord through my window, that I have to park in my garage so I can't fit some of my other stuff in there. This stays in your house, which means you can have it in a, in a regular home. You can have it in an apartment. It's approved for apartments. You can have this in a condominium. So when you're in a condo, and now here's the issue with condos, usually a lot of times when the power goes out in a condo, almost all, all the condo's power goes out. It's not just yours. <laughs> it's the whole condo. So, so it doesn't take much for, for one line to go down to one whole set of maybe 18 or 20 condos. So then all those families and those people and couples don't have power, except for you, because I keep looking to my left. It's over here, because you have an EcoFlow. So if you're my mom who is 92 years old and the power goes out and she has a live-in caregiver, all you need to do is take out your EcoFlow and plug in the lights, plug in your coffee machine, plug in your uh, microwave, plug in your toaster oven, plug in your space heater, plug in your air conditioner. You can plug up to six different items in traditional three-prong outlets. You've got four USBs. You've got two USB-Cs in this, so you can plug phones, TVs, a washer. You can plug in your refrigerator, your coffee maker, your microwave oven, your lights, your TVs, your computers, obviously your phones, as many as you got, laptops, router, right? Because you're like, well, there's no, there, uh, uh, I, I, can't get any, I can't get any reception. Plug your router in, okay? As long as the lines are running through that, you can still access it. Any kind of a camera, an electric grill, an electric fry pan, which means I can make eggs, I can make bacon, I can make toast in my toaster, I can make bagels. You can live, you can thrive, not just survive. That's the kind of stuff that it powers, and, and it's funny because it empowers you. I've had mine for three years. I love it. I don't use it on a regular basis because I, it's mainly my backup power reserve, but I use it all the time when it comes to like going, I, like outside of my deck. I'll take it outside on the deck on a hot day, and I'll plug in my port, big portable fan because it's hot out there on my deck, and I don't have air conditioning out there. I could put a space air conditioner out there. I'm obviously outside, so I'm more comfortable putting a fan out there. If you have an outdoor electric grill, right, that's not smokeless and you keep it outside, you can plug it in there. Maybe you don't have a, a power out, out, a thing out there and you don't want to run a big, long extension cord. If you're a camper, you can put this inside your tent, your RV, your van, whatever, and you've got power in there to plug in all those different things. And remember, when you can plug in a portable air conditioner and use it for up to 12 hours, Man, that's me getting a good night's sleep while everybody else is sweating or everybody else is trying to find another solution. I'm good. Now, remember, always keep some backup food, always keep some backup water, and keep this machine. 
Two different ways you can purchase it. You can get it with the solar panel, which I, I'm the solar panel, and maybe Rob can find it and pull it up. We, we get $459 for the solar panel. This is 160 watt. Okay, it's there, but if you check it out on hsn.com, 160 watt is 459. It's half price if you get it with the generator today at 1549. Or you can just go the pure generator itself for 1399. We just recently sold out of our last model, which was not as powerful, all right? It was a little bit cheaper, but not as powerful. It makes sense to get the latest and greatest and updated one that we've had here. We've been waiting to get this one here for a long, long time, and we finally got it here. Not 90%. 99% of everything in your house that's electrical, this will power up. You can put your head in the sand, and you can pretend it's not going to happen. You know, I was watching, you know, I was watching yesterday the thing on Mount St. Helens. You want to talk about people with their head in the sand, right? That whole thing. Now, granted, we didn't have the technology we have now. They weren't even like cell phones back then. But there were, there were warning after warning after warning that that thing was going to go off. And because nobody took the warning seriously and they said, well, it's a volcano. It hasn't erupted in thousands of years. Blah, blah. A lot of people lost their lives. A lot of people suffered. There was so much devastation, all because people were not properly prepared. And I'm not blaming anybody. This, you know, that, hey, listen, that's a natural disaster. Those things happen. But there were warnings. There were signs. And we get them, luckily, we live in a world where we know a, a hurricane's coming maybe 10 days ahead of time. We know where it's going to land within a day or two ahead of time. So we don't have any excuse to put our heads in the sand. We can't say, well, it caught me off guard. And no, oh, you know, we have incredible weather um, forecasters now. Now, granted, you know, they still don't always hit the button. But wouldn't you rather be one of those people that says, hey, listen, yeah, we had a hurricane, but we came, we came through okay. I had water, I had food, I had an eco flow. And then the next day the sun came out, we still, people didn't have power for three days. We had it because we had sunshine. And we got the, we got the, the um, solar panel. And we got, the, we got the power strip, so we got even more places to plug in because we get that power strip too. You have two ways to get through it. You can suffer, you can survive, or you can thrive. People with an eco flow, Justin, they thrive. Well, you thrive, you bring all the creature comforts that you enjoy and love yeah. while you have power, when you don't have power. And it's something that you get to live with for the next, you know, 10 years at least. This is a unbelievable upgrade from our EcoFlows of our past. You know, with the Delta Max, this is the Delta Max 2. It's a longer lasting battery. It's a more powerful battery. It charges faster. It's lighter weight. It's still going to power 99% of your home appliances. Look around your house. What did you use to, already this morning? Your TV, your coffee maker, your refrigerator, your air conditioning unit. What about hot water with your hot pilot for your, your, your tankless water heater? What about your washing machine? What about all of those different appliances that you use every single day? If I took all of your power away right now, what would you do? What about light? What about staying warm? What about staying cool? You know, guy was just talking about when you get hot, how deadly it can get. Heat is the most deadly weather event you can experience. So yes, we're getting prepared for right now because why wouldn't you get prepared right now? You don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. You know at some point in time you're going to be out of power. This is something that you're going to have inside your bedroom you can use every single day. This will power up your CPAP machine. I've got the CPAP machine running right now. One touch of a button. That's it. That's all I need to do. I'll do it one more time for you. One touch of a button. I don't need to worry about pull cranks. I don't need to worry about oil. I don't need to worry about gas. And now you can see this display is going to show me every bit of information that I need. That CPAP machine running at about 18 watts. And now it's going to convert it and tell me exactly how long it's going to run for. 44 hours with the CPAP machine. How many nights is that? And don't forget, that's just off of one charge not just 99 percent of your home appliances this is just one charge at 98 percent so when we need to recharge this here's the benefit you know, were talking about well what happens when you're out of power well it's not just you that's out of power it is the gas station that's out of power how much gas can you store what kind of home do you live in are you physically capable of being able to power up a gas or propane generator you know those need to be 20 feet away from your home so that's why we say apartments and condos you can't do it and in multiple different places in this country you can't even store 
store gasoline in your garage. And we talk about weather events as being the number one reasons we lose power. But how many times have we seen recently power grids getting shut off purely because they're overrun with power? You know what happens? Summertime when we're running high wattage appliances like running uh, our air conditioning. What happens when we're all running our heaters inside of our home? What's that doing to the power grid? And then they're saying, well, we're going to have to shut it off. Sorry, we know you pay monthly for it, but we're going to have to shut off your power. Well, how are you going to keep yourself comfortable? How are you going to keep your family comfortable? How are you going to run 99% of your home appliances? Do it inside of your home. Guy was talking about it. Imagine having 30 below. It's the middle of a blizzard. You've got a gas generator, and now you're going to have to go outside and check the gas. You're going to have to go outside and make sure that thing's still running. You never have to go outside again. And if you have an area where you can put those solar panels outside your home, now you can recharge this and have independence and excuse me, sustainability but remember, with those solar panels, it's not just about recharging this. It's about being able to have a solar generator. This is a CPAP machine running about 17 watts. I'm going to go ahead and plug in this portable AC unit, and I want you to see this. When that AC unit turns on to 72 degrees, we can see exactly how much watt. It's 162 watts. That means I can be running my portable AC unit and my CPAP machine with one solar panel. We can have 10 times as much solar input, up to 1,000 watts. Another upgrade that we did with the Delta 2 Max, meaning we can have 1,000 free watts from the sun powering up our refrigerator, powering up our portable AC unit all during the day without depleting the power from our power station. I see, Guy, you're standing by all of the, the additional solar panels that we have. It's not just that when you get this, you create a full ecosystem, but then you've got the additional solar panels so you can yeah. upgrade to have more solar and also that extra battery. Yeah. We have the extra battery, which is available for $899.99. So you get not only there are, you'll get a regular EcoFlow, but you can, a lot of people already have an EcoFlow and they want the extra battery because they're like, gives me the extra time. We also have a two pack of the, um, of the solar panels. So, I mean, if you, if you buy the one with the solar panel or if you already got a solar panel and you want extra solar panels, because remember, the more panels you have, the less light. You, you don't have to plug this thing in. You're powering it up. And then we have the extra battery, which is right here in addition. So you can get the extra battery. So the panels are $4.99. The reason it's a good deal to get the one that we're featuring today is because it come, you can get it with a solar panel right away. And you're, only, and you're getting that included. So you have that and you get the power strip. But if you want backups, it's $4.49 for the two extras. And those will work with your existing EcoFlow or you can get the extra battery. But come on over with me. I'm gonna walk over and I'm gonna hang out with uh, Justin for a minute, because I wanna show you, you can do a lot of great things with this. I mean, I mean this is a full-size microwave oven. That's a full-size refrigerator, all right? These are regular lights. This is a regular blender. These aren't little baby, little toy blenders or things like that. It's all full-size stuff yeah. that, are, that we have. Well, remember, well, I was talking about this earlier. You can literally have this connected to your circuit breaker in your house. Have five, uh, ten, excuse me, ten different breakers, uh, circuits that on your home. So that means your kitchen, your living room, all the, and running your whole entire house. This isn't just something that will run one room and one device right. at It'll a time. It'll feed power to the whole house. The whole house, and that's why when we say we have the ability to be able to not just have something like this, but then double the power and yeah. now triple the power. That means you can double right here and or triple from what we have: twenty hours in refrigerator to 40 to 60 hours we were doing a 40 hours for our CPAP machine that's 80 hours and of course tripling that with the additional battery but then being able to just know look you're talking about a guy being able to have something you can just say I'm just gonna plug stuff in you know there is no maintenance there is nothing that I have to worry about we have one caller that's calling in he was an older gentleman he was ex-military he's like look I've I, I, I this is my second purchase of EcoFlow reason why is that I had all of these different gas generators he's like I got it out in my barn sure. they I don't ever use them anymore I'm tired of having the extension cord running from my barn all the way inside of my home. One touch of a button to turn it on and one touch of a button to turn it off, that's it, and it's whisper quiet. When we lose power, what's the first thing that we're thinking about? We want to plug in all the different things that sustain us, our refrigerator, our food, and our water that we need to make sure that stays good. And of course, something that we're investing in that's costing how much when we go to the, refrigerator, uh, to the, the yeah. grocery store. Right. It's like $1,000, it sure. feels like every single time we go yeah. there. So <laughs> now we've got our refrigerator, but how about a full-size microwave? You yep. know, this is something when we talk about these power stations, you can do um, unbelievable high wattage yeah, appliances. Just ready to click on. There it is. There we go. <laughs> we'll hit the 30 seconds right yeah. here. Let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. And then what I want you to see is so look at the display it. right here on the on the uh, on the power station. Yeah. So this tells us. That's another thing I love. It's so easy to understand exactly your power consumption, your yeah, power usage, and exactly. what's left. It's right there. So it tells you. 
All the information that you need to know is right in the front. And look, so it's saying uh, it's going to be over an hour. It's about an hour and a half with your microwave. This is showing you right here the wattage. That's 1,600 watts. We still have our refrigerator plugged in, so we've got a refrigerator and our microwave. You're never going to be running your microwave for an hour and a half, but knowing that you can, <laughs> I, I mean, and if you did do that, yeah. I've done it with bagel bites for 40 minutes. They turn into hockey pucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but just knowing, look, how many times you're going to have, do you have an induction burner? I've got an infrared induction burner. Sure. Had it up to... Do you know 500 degrees Celsius is 1,000 degrees yeah, Fahrenheit? That's a lot hotter than Fahrenheit. I didn't realize that. <laughs> um, we had our induction burner up to 1,000 degrees yeah. with our power station. Cooking food. We talk about, you know, uh, well, we want to have a, you know, a space heater. What better way to cook some food, heat yeah. up some soup, and eat something so you're heating yourself and warming right. yourself up from the inside? And having a fan going on. All these different things so that you can, so that you can get through it in comfort and that you're not struggling. I mean, that's the big deal. And you know, when you think about it, when you think about, let's, let's take Florida just as an example, because we live here. Yeah. So we get a hurricane here. A fraction of the people that suffer from the hurricane suffer the real bad hurricane damage, you know, from the winds and the floods and all that stuff. But a larger fraction are the people that suffer from the power failure. All right, my buddy Dave lives over, in, uh, over on the other side of the other coast. Uh, and he lives over in Palm Beach. And he said, and he was, in, he was off the water. He goes, we didn't get a lot of damage. Yeah. He said, but we didn't have power for a week. He goes, I've never lived through anything like that. It's unbelievable. Because you couldn't go anywhere because the hotels weren't, they weren't taking anybody. Nope. Um, he had to stick around, right? He had to take care of his pets, all that stuff. And think about it. You got, you got kids, pets, grandkids, whatever. It's that, that's the collateral damage that, that people experience is, the, is that there is no electricity. There's no power. And it may be out for days. Are you prepared for that? Or are you going to be one of those casualties? You're going to be one of those people that's like, you, they couldn't get through it, right? We had to go rescue somebody. This enables you to take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your pets, take care of all your needs. So whether it's, it could be an electric toothbrush, right? Something so small. But you're like, I want to be able to brush my teeth with my electric toothbrush. I want to get up and have a cup of coffee. I want to be able to feed myself and my, and my family, my partner, whatever. I want to be able to do all those things. I want to be, I've got a CPAP machine. Maybe you have one of those, right? You have a refrigerator back here that you want to make sure that stays on. One of the biggest deals I had in one of the power failures before I had my EcoFlow, getting all the crap out of the fridge and the freezer. And then what was I going to do with it? Yeah. I wound up throwing away most everything. Ice trays melting or ice cube bucket melting, water all over the floor, right? This is going to enable you to keep that, that refrigerator and freezer running for hours and hours and hours. And then remember, you don't have to, it, unlike a, a gas, you don't have to keep buying more gas to put it in. You can use the solar panels outside when the sun comes out to recharge it, but it doesn't use the same kind of power. It's way more cost effective and just way easier. I mean, I don't know many, my mom's 91. Do you think she's going to go outside and start a gas generator? Well, first of all, she's in a condo. She couldn't even have one. But if she has this, she can make her, all the comforts that she loves, right. being warm. Number one with my yeah, mom. Yeah. Um, her coffee in the morning, her, her bagels and toast, which she loves. Her computer, which she likes to play her little gambling yeah. games on, right? <laughs> she can plug a TV into this, right? You can plug your router into this. You can plug all your phones. I mean, there's nothing like it. The first time I presented it with you, I bought it when I got off air. I was like, you made me realize, I'm like, I live in Florida, one of the worst storm places you can have. Probably have more power failures than anybody else in, in the country. Think about it. And because it's the storm capital, right? And I don't have a, I don't have a plan. My plan is, okay, where do I leave? Where do I go to? Right. Where do I, you know, when Danny was little, where do I take him? Now I have a dog. What do I do with that? Or if the storm is, if I, if I can stay at home and weather out the storm, I can stay in my house where I'm comfortable. Well, how many times do you leave and you go to the other coast? And what does the hurricane do? It goes it from right the there. West Coast straight that to the East Coast, here. and then you lose power I on the East Coast. I left here once, and it went to Orlando, where I was staying in a, in a hotel. Exactly. Went right through Orlando. It happens every <laughs> single time. How many people go from you know, Florida up to the, you know, further up the East Coast to North Carolina, and then they, they lose power up there? You can travel with this. Yep. You know, and, and you were saying, you know, well, if you're worried because you know maybe your house is, you know, usually loses power. You, you know, loses power on a windy day. Yeah. Um, 
Well, you got to think about it. You know, what's what's the grid around your house like? What's the infrastructure around your home like? What kind of home do you live in? You know, often we've been so limited to saying, well, how are we going to have independent power? How are we going to have backup power? When we live in an apartment, when we live in a condo, we've never been able to have an option. You finally have an option. You finally have a way to get prepared. And like you said, knowing that you don't have the residual payments every single time you want to recharge, you know, power this up. Right. And you were talking about too, you know, even if you own a gas generator, Generator, even if you own a, 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 a propane generator, the great. Use that to recharge this and, and continue to save gasoline and allow this to power 99% of your home appliances. You can use your gas generator and your solar panels simultaneously connected to this to charge this even faster. So in an, a little over an hour, to, in a little over an hour, recharge your power station, okay, from your gas generator or propane generator, even when you're out of power, and then turn that thing off. Yeah. And then and save all that gas and allow this to power the rest of your whole entire house. And get a good night's sleep, because you're not listening to the generator running all night long. Look, if you live in an HOA, 10 p.m., can't run your gas right. generator. Go to a campground, first thing that you see, giant sign says, quiet time at 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. well, you went camping and you're thinking you have a great night's sleep, you use your CPAP machine, and they say, well, you can't run your gas generator, what are you gonna do? Right. I love that idea you just said. So if you do have any kind of a gas or propane generator, use it to recharge this. You know, it's all about kind of being responsible to yourself and to your family. I mean, it really is. And I'm not trying to throw a bunch of guilt on you, but think about it. What, what household out there doesn't have Band-Aids? Why do you have Band-Aids? Just in case I cut myself or somebody hurts, gets hurt in my family. Why do you have antiseptic sprays? Why do you have all the things in your house for you and your family? Because you never know what's going to happen. Why do you have water? Stored. Well, you never know. Though. We may get a warning that there's no water because of the, of the floods or from the hurricane. And having the solar panels, I mean, is that not the coolest thing ever? Did you ever think a lot of, you know, they're trying to push solar everywhere here in Florida. Yeah. And yeah, you, get it, you, get, you see the ads every, yeah, every time. single day, right? Oh, hey, Florida, you can get it for free. Now, it's, it's, I won't say it's a scam, but I'll, here's what I'll tell you. There is nothing wrong with solar power. It's fantastic. It does take a long time for you to recoup <laughs> your money on, a, on solar panels well, you on, get your it on your roof. Yeah, right. It takes a long time. So a lot of people are like, I don't need that. And, and finally, we're offering you a very affordable solar panel that you can hook to your emergency power supply. And it's not, you know, like I've priced it out. It's not sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 to put a dozen or half dozen panels on your roof. Right. Which I'm just like, I can't do that right now. And I have a perfect roof for it. But I'm like, I'd rather have my EcoFlow. Yep. I'd rather have my solar panel, all right? Because I have a small house. Yep. I watch my consumption of my energy. I'm okay. And I'm not telling you not to get solar. I'm just saying this is a smart configuration because it's not going to break the bank. If you get the solar panel, it's only what? Another $150 for the solar panel because it's $1,400 versus $16, right? So is that my right? Let me see. fourteen fifty. Yeah. $1,550. It's an extra 150 bucks for the solar panel. You can get the deal on the solar panel and you get the power strip. This is a way to, to really survive it and thrive in it. Okay? Say that again. Yeah. VIP financing, it's less than $10 more to get it with the solar panel. Because it's 77 without the panel, it's 86 with the solar panel. And let me tell you something. You are going to be so impressed and feel so good about yourself. You're going to feel cool. I mean, literally, like, I got a solar panel charging my backup generator. Everybody in the neighborhood is going to be like, where did you get that? Why don't I have it? The first time you do that, you realize how unbelievably cool that is. When, you, is, can, right? when you can literally get your solar panel out. Off the out, grid, baby. Fully off the grid. Yep. I did it out of the pool deck the other day. I, had, I forgot one of the cords. I, always had a, I had a recharge of the power station. I was like, well, I've got my solar panel. I had the solar panel charging one, and I was charging the other inside. Knowing that when you've got your solar panel, now it comes with this carrying case, which is also going to be your kickstand and a protective case. All you got to do is get your solar panel set up. This could be your balcony. You open it up, and now you just connect it with one cable to your power station. You can't do that with a gas generator. When you run out of this, you have now been run out of all options to run your gas and or propane generator. With your solar panel, you can now have options all the time, wherever you might be. It's camping, it's on the balcony, it's on the porch, wherever you decide to put it. And now the sun, for free, is going to recharge your power station. This is 160 watts. You can have up to 1,000 watts of solar input. Guy, you were just talking about 
Yeah, if you got a conventional home and you got a roof, you can put solar panels on it. Sure. If you're a renter and you live in an apartment and a condo, you can't do that. But this is your option. This is a great way to finally be able to my feel mom, like you do that, yeah. but with this. My mom has a little screen porch. Yeah. She walks out there. That's where she, she has like herbs and a little herb garden out yep. there. She can put this right out there. Set and the up. sun comes right in from there. She can lay it right out there, put yep. the generator, because it's covered. Yep. She can put the generator right out there and recharge it. And she could get, like we said, you're unending then. You could have power loss for days and days yep. and days. As long as you got sun out there, you can recharge it. All right? Or if you have a, you know, maybe your, your kids live two miles away and they have power. They can come over, they can grab it, they can charge it and bring it back to you. Yeah, exactly. And you don't have to try to get a 92-year-old woman in a car driving her someplace else to live yep. for a week. Which, I, I, let me just tell you, I don't know how old, how old your family is, but my mom's 92. We, uh, trips are hard for her. She can't really, I mean, saying, oh, we'll, we'll just bring her to a hotel. Yeah. Now i got to make sure... How do we get her up and down? How do we get her in and out of the car? How do we do all that stuff? Because, you know, she's on a, a, yeah. you know, on a walker. This gives you that ability to take care of yourself. I always talk about that to our senior friends. I'm like, what, what bothers seniors, and I've noticed it in a lot of them, including my, my own family, is their inability to be able to do things for themselves. Yeah. They hate that. Yep. You know, I, I hate having to ask somebody to unscrew a light bulb. I hate having to ask somebody to do this. This empowers you to be able to take care of yourself, and it gives you that great feeling back. That's... I'm like, my, my EcoFlow, I'm proud that I have it. I'm like, all right, you did the right thing. Yeah. You did something responsible. That's, you <laughs> should have it. Because let me tell you, you know, your, your family's going to be complaining if it's 100 degrees in the summer or if it's 20 degrees in the winter and you got no way to heat your food or, 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 or heat your house or cool your home or keep your things in your refrigerator or freezer from melting all over the place. That is what this is. It's an answer. Do you have to buy it? No. You can do what I said. You can do what a lot of people do, which is put your head in the sand and just pray that it goes past you and it never happens to you. But out of all of you out there, is there anybody out there that hasn't experienced a power failure? Probably not. I would say every person that lives in oh, this yeah. country at some point have had the lights go out and been out for hours. Yeah. And, and it sucks. And it's the worst time. You know I mean, it's, yeah. the, it's the worst time that it happens. You think, well, it'll be a beautiful day out. It'll be beautiful. 65 degrees, yeah. we'll open the windows. Doesn't never works like that. It's <laughs> always the worst possible time. It's super hot, it's super cold. Right, right. You, you think about it, when do you get prepared? Uh, I don't know. We'll wait a week. We'll, we'll wait two, we'll, we'll wait a month. Best time to get prepared is now because you don't know what tomorrow brings. You do know that when we talk about the what ifs and the whens, that yeah, you're going to be out of power at some point. And when that happens, how do you want to go through that power edge? I know you always said, do you want to survive? Do you want to thrive? And I love that. I mean, it's, that's exactly it. You want the creature comforts that you love today to still be there for you tomorrow when you're still out of power. And when that happens and you think about what's my option to do those different things, this never existed before, right? I mean, this is something that's brand new, cutting edge, that you finally have yeah. an option to say, when I lose power, I'm just gonna, and you said, doesn't matter how old you are, you just turn it on, you plug it in, and when you need to recharge it, you still have a solar panel that you just put it out right there, right in your little, you know, uh, yeah. you know sunroom right there, Good put it on your balcony, and now it's the sun is recharging without thinking, I gotta go to a gas station yeah. to get more gas while everybody else is doing the same exact thing. It's, it's, you may not even be able to leave your house. Right. I mean, that's, that's the realistic part of it. All right, and remember, all of you that are watching right now, look around your house. I want you to look at all the electronic devices that you have in your house, right? And think about that machine that you're looking at right there can cover 99% of them. Right. 99% of what's in your home, and that took us a lot to get that, that research done, this will be able to power up. We couldn't always say that. In the old days, it was, you know, this, and then it got up to about 90%. There were still about 10% that you couldn't do, a lot of larger items. This is the upgraded model. This is the Delta II. This is a better model than I have. I have the original Delta. I think I got 1,000 watts of power. I love it. Yeah. And for, my, for what I need in my house, I'm okay. Yeah. Because I don't, I mean, I only have one, I have a, one kid. My house is only 1,500 square feet. Yep. And I, essentially, I want to be able to put, plug in the coffee machine. I want to plug in, I've got a little electric fry pan. There's a couple other things I want to be able to do. Um, and so it's perfect for me. But I wish I had this one because for me, this one's going to give you more power. It's going to last longer. You're going to get, you get more coverage with 99%. And still, you're only paying $77 if you get it just for the generator if, on, with an HSN credit card. If you get one with the solar panel, which is the one I would tell you to get, I didn't get it with mine in the beginning. I don't know if it was available the first time I bought mine. And it wasn't. I don't think it was. No. 
but I still should get one. Yeah. I know I can, I can retro it into mine. Yeah, once you get the solar panel, get, I'm telling you. Get the one with the solar panel that comes with the, with the strip, and you see the price difference is only $150. Um, and again, $86 uh, a month on your HSN credit card for the one with the solar panel and $77 for the one that just comes with the unit itself. 009617. Shipping and handling is free. Deliver it right to your door. You're going to absolutely love it. You will sleep better at night knowing you have it. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Hey, guys, I'm off tomorrow, but I'll see you Tuesday. And now that's tasty and a bunch of great things. But our best value of the day, the incredible Andrew Lessman and Callie. Let me come on your way next. I'll see you in a couple days. Morning. Welcome to HSN. I'm Callie Northhagen. A little bit of a sore throat this morning, but I'll get through it. I wanted to let you know.